I tell you, Lou, this'll kill them. They gotta like this song, believe me. They'll cheer, whistle, applaud. Women'll throw children out of the balcony. <laughs> this'll break up the theater. You can say that again. It's a swell number. You wait until you hear Dixie sing it. Oh, don't argue with them, Caroline. They just haven't got an ear for music. No, but I got a nose. What am I gonna do with you guys? This'll top anything in the show, Skipper. I don't know, Dixie. Well, maybe you don't know, but I know a great song when I hear it. I don't know. This was written by a great songwriter. In fact, he was the greatest songwriter in the world. I was up half the night writing it. <laughs> hey, Charlie, get over here to the piano. Let's really do this thing. Folks like their privacy, but I don't care. My love affair is public property. I don't care if the world knows about it. It's hard to disguise it when your eyes advertise it. All I know is that I love you. I'm so proud I could stand up and shout it. Tell all the people from the top of the steeple, hey, they're Mr. My Dreams Come True. Mm, I know now why Niagara Falls, it doesn't fall for the view. Like me, it's been falling for wonderful view, yeah. I don't care if the world knows about it. I'm willing to let it. They can all take the credit. All I know is that I love you. Mm, I know now why the Eiffel Tower keeps smiling down at the view. It's getting an Eiffel, baby, a wonderful view, yeah. I don't care if the world knows about it. My cousin in Aurora or the whole Corridora. All I know is that I love you. Well, I tell you, it's great. It's a breeze. I still don't think it'll go. Well, that does it. Now I know it's a hit. He said the same thing about Dardanella. <laughs> Dixie, it's in. what I tell you, baby? Dixie, you're wonderful. Well, <laughs> who am I to disagree? Come on, sucker, you owe me a drink. See, this nose has cost me more drinks. <laughs> Maybe it is good. I don't know. I know I've been long before. Carolina. Oh, hello, darling. And tell her I'll never forget her wherever, wherever I've roamed. You look like you've got something behind your back. Just remember Mine. me. Oh, Dixie, no, what do you got? The Carolina. Oh, don't tease me, darling. Come on, what do you got behind it your back? I won't tell you. You know, I wrote that song for you. I mean, I couldn't sing it for anyone else. Yes, I know you did, but I still well, want to see what you got behind your back. Does he insist? Uh-huh. Well, here it is. Oh, Dixie. You never forget our anniversary, do you? Day after day, in Dixie, every way. The bracelet! I love oh, you. Oh, darling, it's better. beautiful. <laughs> I remember that day we saw it. Here's what I write. You mean when we went window wishing? Uh huh. In you knew I wanted it. <laughs> I do the same for all my wives. Oh, you're such a kid. You'll never grow up. Stay that way. I'll be any way you want me to be. You know, we've laughed off a lot of tough times together from honky tongues right up to Broadway. But it was fun. I remember when you used to say, laugh at the world, and it'll laugh right back at you. Yeah, but we're on our way now, on the big time. When this show opens, I'll be in there punching. I hope I'm with you. But if I'm not, we'll both be rooting for you. Caroline, we're going to give that kid everything. A lot of things we never had. Oh, darling, if our baby has just half what we've had, he'll be lucky. You know, I love you more and more every day. But today, I love you like tomorrow. Oh. Look, have any of you boys seen Dixie Boy Johnson? I haven't seen him, Mr. Dan. Hey, Joe, move that spot over a little bit. Glasses, where's Dixie? Well, he's calling the hospital. What again? You think nobody ever had a baby before? Well, he's interested naturally. You'd be too. Not yet. How is she? You sure? You sure everything's okay? Dixie, come on, will you? The curtain's going up. Take it easy, will you, Lou? Call me as soon as it happens, will you? You won't forget. Thanks very much. 
Lou, I tell you, I ought to be there. I ought to be with Caroline. Can't you put glasses on in my place Look, tonight? Look, thousands of babies are born every day. This is an opening night. But maybe she needs me. She doesn't need you. You can do Caroline and the baby a lot more good right here. Curtain going up in one minute, Mr. Dunn. Come on, Lou. Lou, I stay? tell you, I ought to be there. Will you please come on, Dixon? Why were you running down the street so fast last night? I was running to stop a fight. Who was fighting? Me and another fella. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, what are you squirming for? What makes you so nervous? Uh, I ain't nervous. I'm just worried on account of my clothing store. I didn't know you had a clothing store. I didn't say I had a clothing store. You certainly said you had a clothing store. I did not say I had a clothing... Did I say I had a clothing store? Uh, no. There's a nail here in my chair in my clothing store. <laughs> hey, look here, Mr. Interlocutor. What is it, Tiny? Do you realize you is now working with, talking to, and gazing up on uh, a smart man? So you call yourself a smart man, Tiny? Well, now, if you don't think I'm smart, just approach me, big boy. Hey, approach me. How smart are you, Tiny? Well, now, listen, Clue. If it takes 187 yards of green calico to make an elephant a wrestling jacket, how long will it take a bow-legged fly with a cork leg to crawl through a barrel of molasses? You got me, Tiny. I'm stuck. So was the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as our first specialty in this evening of gala divertisement, I take great pleasure in introducing that king of terpsichore, Mr. Johnny Boy. Who is Dixie Boy? Well, he's on stage. The show has just started. Girl. Carolyn's got a girl. Six and a half pounds. Great. That's wonderful. We've got to get the news to Dixie. popular ballad, Remember Me to Carolina, I am proud to present our star, Dixie Boy Johnson.
send a movie telegram. Tell her just how blue I am. Starlight, star bright, first real star I've seen tonight. Send a message to my love. I'll take this message to my love. Remember me to Carolina and tell her I'll never forget her wherever I roam. Just remember me to Carolina when blue dusk is falling. Her sweet voice is calling, calling me home. And day after day, in every way, I love her better. Night after night, here's what I write in every love. Remember me to Carolina Where songbirds are maiden And Caroline's waiting, waiting for me And day after day, in every way I love her better Tonight, here's what I write in every love letter. Just remember me to Carolina, where songbirds are mating and carolines waiting. They're calling for you out there. No more encores. I'm a nervous wreck. See, there's me over there. Come on. 
Come on, tell us all about it, May. What's the matter, honey? Something wrong? What happened? Caroline. Is there anything I can do, Dixie? Dixie, I... No, I ask this. Hiya, Dixie. Hi, lasses. It's May. Say, where you been? We've been looking all over for you. You certainly pulled a disappearing act. we just seen the baby again. Oh, gosh, she's the cutest trick. No bigger than a minute. She's the sweetest baby I've ever seen. Why don't you come over and stay with us for a while? Once you're out of this place, you'll feel better. Thanks, May. I've decided to clear out. I've got to get away. But what about the baby? Well, I was coming to that. I thought that maybe you and Lasses might... What, take care of the baby? Oh, gosh, we'd love it. But how can you leave her? She's yours, yours and Caroline's. Yeah, I know. Look, Dixie, we understand what you're going through, but why don't you think it over? I have thought it over. It's the only thing for me to do. I've just got to get away. But what about the rest of the bunch? They need that show bad. Now, look, May, you know I'm not the guy to take a powder. But if I hang around here, I'll crack up. I know it. I understand how you feel, pal. But Lou Dunn's depending on you. He wants to reopen the show. I don't care if Lou Dunn ever opens the show. All I know is that he made me go on that night, and my place was with Caroline. Well, don't be too hard on Lou. He feels bad enough as it is. You've taken a wrong slant on things, Dixie. Okay, Lou Dunn's right. I'm all wrong. Come on, Lassie. Well, we'll take care of the kid. Don't worry about that. Well, I'll just get away somewhere and pull yourself together. Johnson, where did you drop from? Come on in here. Even a sour puss like yours looks good after five long years. Oh, look who's <laughs> talking with that kisser. Well, you know how it is, Bill. Once you get the smell of burnt cork in your nostrils, how's the racket? Well, right now... I played a little act, you know. It's in blackface, and I read a couple of swell songs. You remember Cindy was always good for an encore. Look, Dixie, things are not like they used to be. The talkies are in now. And... Well, how about a nightclub? The side streets are full of them. That is murder. They're all empty. There is a slim chance some of the movie houses are putting in stage acts. I might be able to land you a job. That's great. When can I open? Well, uh, Dixie, the way things are, I might have to palm off a couple of guys. <laughs> How much? <sighs> Cost you an extra 5%. Same old Evans. You haven't changed in all these years. Well, the way things are, a guy's got to get along. You'll always get along. Okay, it's a deal. I'll call up J. Frank. Everybody's got a superstition. 
some silly thing to which they cling. I have only had one superstition. I know that I could never start to sing without my walking stick and my old top hat, my folder roll and my this and my that. I couldn't even hum a strain without this bamboo cane. On the boulevard in my soup and fish, roll my eyes at some dainty dish. But I'm not so hot in lover's lane without my bamboo cane. I'm Aladdin, here's my lamp. Bamboo magic, press to change, oh, and I'm the chant with my walking stick and my old top hat. You won't find me at the automat. If you take away my stock and train, how could I ever sing, Cindy, when you roll those hypnotizing eyes? Pretty baby, don't you realize it would drive me insane? Cause with me it's a label I wouldn't be able to warble that haunting refrain. No, 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 no. I couldn't sing a lick without this stick, my band. What an audience, boy, what an audience. Still knock him dead, can't he? I'll say he can. That guy's a hit in any man's theater. Yeah, there's a lot of spots I can use him in. A lot of other people think that way, too. Uh, Gonna cost you more dough if you want to keep him. Let's cut the show talk, Evans. What's your price? Oh, a hundred a week? Okay, you got yourself a deal. Oh, uh, let's keep this between you and me. I'll take care of Dixie. Well, the guy's got to get along, hasn't he? Okay, see me in my office. While I serenade you, adorable Cindy. When you roll those hypnotizing eyes, can you blame a little hard that size? Pretty baby, be mine. Mm, Cindy, don't you captivate me, southern charms? Right in daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. Say you're sweeter than honeysuckle. That's what you are to me. How would you like to cuddle beneath a magnolia tree? Confidentially, Cindy. Cotton blossom time is coming soon. How's about the Dixie honeymoon? Now won't you say you'll be mine? Cross your heart, you'll be mine. Pretty baby, be mine. Did you hear that audience rock? Did you hear? Hi, you tell them, Nate. Look, Dixie, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about. Not tonight. I'll see you in a moment. I've got something very important to do right now. Wait a minute, Dixie. Look, I'm not giving you the brush off, Bill, but this is something that's five years overdue. Yeah, I know. Okay. Dixie! Les! What have you been doing with yourself? Where you been? When'd you get in? Take it easy. Take it easy. One at a time. Oh, gosh, I'm glad to see you, Dixie. Glad to see you. Good to see you, pal. Yeah. Boy, you're really living. Yeah, I've been doing all right. First time in life I ever had a bank account. Well, you can't knock that. <laughs> How's Meg? Oh, she's fine. She... She'll be glad to see you, Dixie. And the baby, little Caroline? Oh, she's swell. I'm dying to see you. Wow. Say, May, look who's here. I see him. Hello, May. Hello, Dixie. Does he look swell? Oh, he's the same old Dixie. Just got back. Oh, it's great to see him again, isn't it, May? How's the baby? Listen, Dixie, there's no need for us to spar. You walked out on that baby the day she was born and dropped her in our lap. Well, I appreciate everything you've both done. We haven't asked for gratitude or appreciation. But get this straight. You asked us to take care of her, and we have. Lasses and I have tried to make a home for her. She's had the right kind of love, happiness, and care. And now suddenly, out of nowhere, you appear. Why? But I want her, May. I know you do, but you're not getting her. She's grown up believing Lassus and I are her parents. And now you want to take her away from us. But May, she's his daughter. His? He pulled a perfect disappearing act. Never once letting us know where he was, what he was doing, whether he was dead or alive. And as for little Caroline, he never was father. 
You didn't even send her a postcard on her birthday. But I never forgot her, May. Well, you certainly kept it a secret. I don't know what brought you back, unless it was your conscience, if you have any. But whatever it is, I know it's bad medicine for Caroline. Stop it, May. I won't let you talk to him like that. He hasn't got it coming to him. What's he got to offer, Caroline? Some actor's hotel off time, fried egg sandwiches, education out of variety. Get wise, Dixie. You haven't anything to give her. It's his child, May. You must realize Hold that. Hold it, lasses. Uh, May's right. I'm way out of line. I just can't give her the things that... Dixie. Wait. No, lasses. She doesn't even know me. Maybe it's better if I don't see her. Keep her out of here. I got some terrific spots lined up for you. I was talking to a guy just last night. I don't care. I gotta get away. I don't care where you book me. Just get me out of town. I can't figure you out, Dixie. You were swell at the opium last night. Look, Bill, I gotta get away. There's a reason. I don't know, Dixie. I'll give you 20%. 20%? I could set you in Havana. Havana? Yeah. Havana. Senores, senoras, and senoritas, and now we bring you that great American entertainer, that singer of nostalgic ditties, just as you saw him in New York, and here he is, Dixie Boy Johnson. We saw him years ago in New York. Remember, dear? Oh, yes. Yeah. And that 
Thou must have a silver lamp, they may be Wait until the sun shines through Why don't you smile, my honey dear While I kiss away each tear Or else I shall be loving the car Remember me to Carolina. Sing Carolina. Carolina. Let's have Carolina. I want Carolina. Yeah, Carolina. Sure, Carolina. Get her where, wherever I'm alone. Just remember me to Carolina when blue dusk is falling. Her sweet voice is calling me home. Day after day, in every way, I love her better. Night after night, in what I write, in every love, love letter. trying to do, Johnson? Bust up my show? I'm sorry. I went to pieces. Oh, you're sorry. Those people out there want entertainment, but not apologies. Well, it's that song. I couldn't sing it. Oh, don't give me that. What do you think I've got you out there for? You don't understand. That song reminds me of something that's... Hey, listen, wise up. When that crowd out there calls for a song, they want it. And as long as you're Dixie Boy Johnson, they're going to want Carolina. We better call our deal off, Morton. City editor. Hello, Charlie. This is Lass's White again. Anything new about Dixie Johnson? Still missing, huh? Let me know if you hear anything, will you, Charlie? Thank you. What did he say, Lass? Doesn't sound good, May. They think they picked up the last of the survivors. They're still searching. Lassus, it's my fault. I've told you a hundred times. You didn't have anything to do with it. You didn't put him on that boat. But I sent him away. Why did you let me do it? Why did you stop me? Now, May, May. I was only thinking of Caroline. I didn't want her to get hurt. I felt that sending him away was best for all of us. I know, but now we'll have to tell her. 
Uh, let me tell her, lasses. I'm sure I can make her understand. Have a wonderful birthday, honey. How about glasses? Just one, you know, I'm seen. Well, one will be enough. I'll get the other 15 later. Oh, gosh, everything looks so wonderful. Yes, yeah, sure, Annie nearly drove us crazy getting it ready for you. Oh, everything looks so ravishing. Mm -hmm. Don't I look ravishing? All right, ravishing. But you'd better turn it on for Lou Dunn. I feel tingling tonight. I'm going to put everything I've got in it. I'm really going to send them. Send him? Yeah, that's Bobby sock for selling. Yeah, put it up. When Uncle Lou walks out of here tonight, Minstrel Man will be in the bag. Well, it had better be, or we'll be holding it. Now, be it. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hello, Hello. Hello Uncle Lou. Well, how does it feel to be 16 years old, young lady? You ought to know, Uncle Lou. You're only a couple years older than that yourself, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and they tell me I have a line. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, it's going to be tough. Once Lou Dunn makes up his mind, no, it's no. And he won't take no for an answer, that's all. Do you think we'll have any trouble? I'm sure it'll work. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello man. Do you think he's in a good mood? Well, he is, but I'm still a little scared. Now, don't be afraid. You'll knock him off his feet. Oh, I want to ask. Flowers from Miss Carolyn Johnson. Oh, thank you. Sign here, please. Okay. Thank you. Gee, they're 
beautiful. I almost thought you had forgotten this year, but I should have known better. I'll put them in the icebox. Every year on her birthday, ever since the Mara Castle. But it can't be him, eh? We know it can't. Do we know? I tell you, it's a great idea, Lou. We can't let it slip through our fingers. Think of it. A streamlined minstrel show right on Broadway. It's no good. Minstrel shows are dead. That's what they said about vaudeville. Grill-esque, too. And a pack of them in. What is this, a squeeze play? You've got to listen. We've got it all worked out. Oh, it's no good. I wouldn't risk it for a lot of reasons. What reasons? All right, where am I going to get another Dixie Boy Johnson? We've got the next thing to it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just relax, Lou. You're in for a treat. Come on, baby. Give, will you? Folks like their privacy, but I don't care. My love affair is public property. I don't care if the world knows about it. It's hard to disguise it when your eyes advertise it. All I know is that I love you. I'm so proud I could stand up and shout it and tell all the people from the top of the steeple, hey there, Mr. Mike. Dreams come true. I know now why Niagara Falls. It doesn't fall for the view. Like me, it's been falling for wonderful you. I don't care if the world knows about it. I'm willing to let it. They can all take the credit. All I know is that I love you. I don't care if the world knows about it. The champ with the muscle, all the girls. Girl, Johnson. As some of you may remember, I'm not prone to making long speeches. <laughs> I just want to say that the revival of Minstrel Man is far more important than just the production of another show. For one thing, it means that after all these years, Minstrelsy will have its rebirth on Broadway. You, the addition of ladies to the cast, seasoned, experienced troopers, together should make fine entertainment. All right, Frank, let's get going, huh? Places, please. Rehearsal for the first number. <laughs> Time is half past eight, and the place is the garden gate. Boy. Says time to spoon, and the girl says I just the same beautiful baby. You see, Caroline, your father wasn't the greatest singer in show business, but he was one of the best stylists. And in minstrel work, style means everything. It's too high, Aunt May. Well, you can try it anyway. And remember, honey, you can't copy style. It has to come from within, from your own personality. You mean you want me to sell it? Exactly. It's sold. <laughs> Cindy, when you're all sympathizing eyes, can you play a little heart that sighs? Pretty baby, be mine. Cindy, put your captivating southern charms right in daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. Than honeysuckle, that's what you want to me. How would you like to cuddle neath a magnolia tree confidentially? Send me cotton blossom down this coming soon. How's about a gypsy honeymoon? Won't you say you'll be mine? Cross your heart, you'll be mine. Blame the little 
heart that sighs Pretty baby be mine Cindy Put your captivating southern charms Bright in daddy's ever-loving arms And everything will be fine You're sweeter than honeysuckle that's what you want to me How would you like to cuddle Neath a magnolia tree Confidentially Cindy Cotton blossom time is coming soon How's about the Dixie honeymoon Won't you say you'll be mine Cross your heart you'll be mine for the baby be mine I'm gonna build me a building fifty stories high I'm gonna build me a building Fifty stories high So I can stand on top And watch my mama when she's passing by Come to me, my melancholy baby Cuddle up and don't be Your fears, their foolish fancies. Maybe you know, dear, that I'm in love with you. Every cloud must have that silver lining. Thank you. You gotta wait until the sun shines through, babe, babe, baby. Why don't you smile, my honey dear? Let me kiss away each tear, or else I shall be melancholy. Dixie? I said, hello, Dixie. Your mistake, fellow. My name's Carter. Carter, huh? Yeah, Jack Carter. Stop kidding, Dixie. I'm Bill Evans, your old agent. I got to tip you here in Frisco. So I am, Dixie Boy Johnson. What do you want? You certainly blew out of civilization. Everybody thought you went down with the Morrow Castle. That's exactly what I want them to think, and I'll forget that you ever saw me. You think I came all the way across country to play games? Well, what did you come for? Lou Dunn is doing a revival of Minstrel Man. Big cast and a lot of dough in it. You came all the way out here to tell me that? You still own the rights to the show, don't you? What about it? Dixie, it's your big chance. A chance to make a lot of dough and at the same time settle an old score with Dunn. I'm not interested in settling any old scores. All I want is to be left alone. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day when Dixie Boy Johnson would be singing in a dive like this. Dunn is lapping up his sleeve the way he grabbed your show. Wait a minute, Evans. Let me buy you a little drink. Okay.
take this thing. Don't be a sucker, Dixie. You're not going to back out now. I ain't let Dunn cash in on your show. Maybe you're right. Would I steer you wrong? Wait here and I'll look up Dunn. Number my dress, would you please? Well, sure, I'm an old hand at this. Gee, I'm scared. This is my first show. Nothing to be scared about. Everybody gets nervous on opening nights. I guess so. Uncle Lasses is jumping out of his skin. And he says even my father used to get a little nervous breakdown every opening night. Your father? Oh, he was the greatest minstrel man in show business. You'll, you'll have to stand still because I'm getting over with you fast. <laughs> These hooks and eyes aren't very good. But wait a minute, we're sort of fumbling here. Now, just relax now. I'll get to it. You're on next. Goodbye and wish me luck. I'll be rooting for you. It is you. Hello, May. I knew it. Those camellias. Can you ever forgive me? Nothing to forgive you for. But I sent you away. I've always regretted it. Well, let's not talk about that now. When you ever hypnotize an eye. Can you play them a little hard that size? Pretty baby, be mine. Cindy, could you captivate the southern charm? Right to daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. Sweeter than honey suckle, that's what you want from me. How would you like to cuddle? Need the magnolia tree, confidentially, Cindy. Time is coming soon. How's about a Dixie honeymoon? Won't you say you'll be mine? Pretty baby, be mine. Cindy, when you roll with my eyes and eyes, can you play him a little heart that size? Pretty baby, be mine. He's a great kid, isn't he? Oh, she's a wonderful kid. Put your cap on his southern charms. Right and daddy's ever loving arms. Dunn off. He wants to talk to you. I haven't anything to talk to Dunn about. You haven't anything? Wait a minute, Johnson. How about the deal you and I made in Frisco? There wouldn't have been any deal if I don't know Lashes May and my kid were in on the setup. Why, you're not thinking straight. Add it up. May giving you the brush off. Lasses swiping your roll to make a name for himself, and both of them grooming your kid for their meal ticket. Mister, you've had your pocketbook lifted, your show stolen, and your daughter turned against you. Dixie Boy Johnson. Hello, <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> I didn't believe this termite. Are you going to let this guy take you for a ride? Maybe you like being kicked around. Beat it, Evan. Beat it? Hey, listen, Johnson. Mike. Jim. All right, OK, I'll go. But you're not going to get away with this. 
Well, it's swell seeing you again. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. You know how I feel. <laughs> well, I better be shoving off. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to get away this time. Then may I? You can't, can't talk yourself out of it. You're going to stay right here. Or must I get Mike and Jim to help me out with you, too? Look, I can't. Come on upstairs and see Lance. Songbirds are mating and care. 